Hi, all of you awesome scuba divers out there, welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine, your favorite place for the latest scuba diving news and gear reviews. Today, I'm taking a closer look at the CX Screen Dive Computer. So the screen is a large screen dive computer made for recreational divers. Bear with me, it's called the screen, so I'm gonna be talking about the screen computer and the computer screen. Uh, it's complicated, I didn't name it. Um, the screen computer harkens back to the classic dive computer kind of design, or what I call a classic dive computer design, with a user changeable battery on the inside and an easy to read LCD screen. Very low power uh, demand from that screen, so you only need a small button battery. So every now and then, and we're talking like years, unless you're diving it constantly, you just swap that battery over. The screen computer comes in three different colors. Uh, this is the blue version. Uh, the only sort of color variation is in the logo on the strap and around the body. Um, the main body itself measures 71 millimeters across by 20 millimeters deep. It's kind of tricky to measure the third dimension because of how the strap molds over the body, uh, but that 20 mil depth measurement highlights a really nice feature in that the actual screen and the buttons are recessed to help prevent accidental button presses and scratching the screen itself. The computer weighs 134 grams, so it's really nice and light, and it has a traditional oversized watch buckle with an elongated strap for thicker exposure protection. So if you're wearing it over a dry suit or over a 7 mil or something, then you've got plenty of watch strap to really ratchet it down. The LCD screen measures 47 millimeters by 40 millimeters and it's a mixture of segment and dot matrix display the segment at the top and the bottom and the dot matrix down the center the screen computer is powered by a cr2450 button battery that you can replace yourself but they do advise that you get a CX service center to do it for you. And the screen also has a subtle backlight that you can activate by holding a button down wherever you are so that you can better see the screen in dark places. Inside, the screen computer has three diving modes. It's got scuba, gauge, and apnea, and it can set two nitrox mixes from 21 up to 99% oxygen that you can set up and switch during the dive. It runs off the Buhlmann ZHL16C algorithm, which is a pretty standard algorithm across most dive computers today, so chances are you're going to match up with your buddy. The logbook on the inside records up to 40 hours of diving in scuba and gauge modes or 18 hours in free dive mode because free dive is more frequent sampling. And there's also an optional USB cable that you can connect the screen to your PC or your Mac. But let's see how it arrives and what comes with it. This is how it arrives uh, in a nice, neat little cardboard box. Um, just the usual advertising on the outside. Uh, on the inside of which you have your dive computer. Uh, we'll take a closer look at that in a second. Uh, underneath it, you might be able to see from the angle a, a little QR barcode. I'll, uh, I'll scan that and I'll put the URL down here and down in the, uh, the description so that you can see where that takes you. Um, yeah, we'll take a closer look at that in a second. Uh, you also get a little book of words, uh, which I imagine is your instruction manual, just tells you about the uh, the screen computer in a bunch of different languages. Uh, and that's all that comes with it. Let's take a closer look at the computer itself. So the computer itself is a really nice, neat little dive computer. Um, the, uh, the, we'll start at one end, the, uh, the buckle itself, uh, plastic buckle, but it feels nice and strong and it's a traditional uh, sort of watch style um, strap and you will find that you do have that um, sort of extra flappy bit, uh, which isn't the end of the world. Uh, I found myself just kind of tucking it back in on itself uh, to stop it from flapping around, uh, but it's, it's nice and secure once it's on, and the strap is nice and thick as well, so you don't have to worry about that uh, as like ripping or tearing anytime soon. Uh, it's got the little wavies, uh, the suspension, uh, as I call it. These, uh, these waves just help to allow for like compression and expansion expansion of your exposure suit is over your wetsuit then you get that little bit of uh, suspension and yeah the uh, the straps themselves they're not separate straps that just attach onto it uh, it looks like there's a little spring pin inside of this section 
but the overall strap mounting just seems to mold over the uh, the computer itself and you can peel that back a little bit to uh, to get at the uh, the computer on the inside so it feels nice and uh, sort of strong and secure and because it's over molded yeah, you don't have to worry about it like scratching against anything uh, quite as much. Obviously, don't just go crazy with it. Um, yeah, the two button user interface, once you kind of get your head around the um, what a hold means and what the individual presses mean, it is quite easy to, uh, to understand. It took me a little while to, uh, to get used to it, but I use so many dive computers that uh, you, you kind of have to separate. Okay, I'm not using that computer anymore. I'm trying to use this one. Um, what, yeah, once you get used to it, it's perfectly fine. Uh, the screen itself, nice and easy to see, even at uh, like certain angles. And I really like the font that they used in this dot matrix section. Uh, I just found it very, um, very good readability. Um, but there was never a, uh, a part of it where I was like trying to work out what it was trying to tell me. Uh, it's very straightforward and uh, yeah, just nice, well put together little dive computer. So who's the screen computer made for? It's made for recreational divers and free divers who want a simple dive computer that's going to last a long time. Two nitrox mixes up to 99% give you great flexibility for some pretty advanced diving and some accelerated deco as well. The screen retails for just under $300 and around 200 euros, but I did find it discounted in some places. Um, so that sets it in the right price bracket, in my mind, at the kind of upper end of the budget dial computer range because it's got that dot matrix. Uh, if I'm really honest, I was ready to be underwhelmed by this, but it's actually really nice. The dot matrix section is really easy to read and the font that they've chosen is just great. I found it very uh, easy to, uh, to understand at a glance uh, instead of having to try and figure out like what does that symbol mean or what the segment display is trying to put a TLA or something and you're like, oh, I don't know what that means. Um, the button controls, two button user interface, did take me a little while to figure out. Um, two buttons are always a little bit more complicated and required like combinations of pushes and holds. Um, I quite like that SIAC included the, uh, if you press both buttons together, it brings you straight back to the home screen wherever you are in the menu. So if you find yourself getting a little bit lost in the menu structure and you don't want to have to hold down back and then hold down back and then do that, you just press them both together, it brings you straight back to the menu or straight back to the home screen and then you can start again. Um, when you're changing settings like Nitrox, be careful to make proper separate individual presses. Uh, for big changes in Nitrox, for example, uh, I found it registered my button mashing as a hold. So then it would move on to the next section and then you'd have to cycle all the way back around to get back to the original setting. So try and like, take your time when you're making big changes. Uh, no Bluetooth inside the screen, which you sometimes find in this price range. Uh, I wasn't overly shocked that it wasn't in there, but other computers in this kind of price range sometimes do. Uh, no compass neither, which again isn't a huge loss in my books. It's quite unusual for this type of dive computer to have a, um, a compass inside, but again, sometimes you do. They're pretty rare, but sometimes. The screen computer is going to be great if you're just starting out and you don't want anything too fancy or expensive. Uh, you just want your own simple to use dive computer uh, and yeah the, the screen ticks all of the boxes that you're going to need for recreational diving it's got all those nitrox modes inside of it apnea as well and it's a nice easy to read and understand dive computer for more information about the screen computer and where you can buy one head over to their website cxsab.com and if you found this useful then of course like this video and subscribe to uh, the channel for more scuba diving content thank you for watching everybody and of course safe dive Oh, 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 oh,